Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about Amazon Drive and Amazon Photos. Amazon users rejoice. There is a free backup system that will allow you to unlimitedly backup your photos from your smart devices and your computer. Now videos you're limited to somewhat of a smaller footprint, but for photos, if you've got an Amazon Prime account or if you sign up for Amazon Photos and Backup, that means that you can back up an unlimited amount of high definition photos to your devices. We're going to take a quick look here, see what you can do to make sure that your information is safe and secure because with our smartphones, it always boils down to those precious photos. So let's show you some steps to help keep you safe. All right, so there we are. Amazon Prime Photos. Unlimited full resolution photo storage with Prime. So the good thing about this app is that you can download it for your desktop and it doesn't matter if you have a Windows or a Macintosh desktop, it's available for both. You can download it from the App Store from Apple and you can download it for your Android device. That's pretty awesome, right? Well, of course it is because everybody's got their own type of device that they use and it's important that you have some form of backup out there. So you can <laughs> create prints if you want to create a print from your favorite photos by ordering it from Amazon. Uh, you can have your photos on the big screen so you can use your photos as your Fire TV screensaver. And if you need more storage, like if you hoard a lot of photos and files on your computer, you can get up to 100 gigabytes worth of data for $11.99 a month and that is a bargain when it comes to data but how does this program actually work well we need to open up file manager on this Windows computer to kind of give you an idea of how file manager is going to work on your computer so let's switch screens and take a look if we can switch screens there we go alright so here's the Windows file manager and Macintosh users I have to apologize because it was just inconvenient to get on the Mac today. But trust me, it'll work just the same. So from File Manager, as you can see, uh, there's a OneDrive folder that I use. But more importantly, there's an Amazon Drive folder. So if you go into the Amazon Drive folder, you can see that there is nothing there. But once you enable the Amazon Backup program on your computer, it will automatically start backing up your files. And let's open that up. So let's go to the Amazon Photos program. And as you can see, there are no backups found, but you can back up by clicking on the up arrow and it'll take you to the control panel here where it'll allow you to control the Amazon Photos backup. So what you would do is you would tell Amazon what you want to back up. Now you can choose from photos and videos and keep in mind when you're using the uh, photos option that it's unlimited but if for, you're going to use videos or any other type of files you only have about five gigabytes worth of files so in comparison if you're going to use Google Drive it may be a better option to use Google Drive if you have more documents and videos because you've got 15 gigabytes of free storage available with Google Photos as opposed to Amazon Drive where you only have five now back to what we were doing so it's pretty simple to get it start up on your on your computer basically by default it'll choose your photos and videos folder or you can choose your own folder to to back up information we'll just select junk for this purpose and then it'll let you know what files it wants to back up so you can tell Amazon that you want to back up photos photos and videos or everything that's in that folder so if you're looking for an option to do a backup of a small amount of files then Amazon Backup and Amazon Photos would be a good option. Uh, but remember that it's only a small amount of files that are allowed that you are allowed to back up with Amazon Photos as opposed to a whole hunking chunk of files uh, that you want to back up. So as you can see your storage down here at the bottom only five gigabytes but again if you're backing up photos like I'm showing here on your smart devices and your Windows and Macintosh computer then Amazon Photos is going to be an excellent option for you to use to back up those high definition photos and 
you will be able to synchronize those photos between your Amazon devices. So pretty slick, huh? So if you got a Prime account, it's already available for you. You can download the Amazon Photos app. We can get back to that screen. You can download the Amazon Photos app onto your Windows or Macintosh computer, and you can download it onto your smart device and have it back up your important files immediately. And you know me by following my tech tips that I'm always talking about backing up your information and make sure that you're keeping all that data safe. Because if you don't back up, it's going to be a bad day and um, Captain America here will probably have to come and save the day. Let's hear Cap. What do you have to say as far as backing up? Uh-oh. He's going to... Nice takedown. Nice takedown. So back up your stuff. Assemble. And we... Avengers <laughs> Assemble. I love it. So make sure you're backing up your stuff and uh, take advantage of Amazon Photos and Amazon Drive if you're a Prime subscriber. So if you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you to find out what tech tips you'd like to see me cover in future videos. And always, speaking of videos, be sure to subscribe to myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert, and my company, Integral. Tons of videos there on our YouTube channels that are going to help you get the most out of the technology you use at home and at work. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. Make sure you back up your information because there's a ton of free options out there. So it doesn't matter if you're using Google Photos or Amazon Photos. Back up your stuff. Take care.